Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. Yesterday, there was an earthquake in Oakland along, probably got a lot to do with the Hayward Fault at 11.08 a.m. yesterday. Did you feel this earthquake? I'm not surprised because on the 14th, there was a magnitude 2.9 near the Calaveras fault zone and I talked about that and how the Calaveras and the Hayward fault are greatly overdue for a large earthquake. A magnitude 2.9 that 65 people said they did feel. Uh, they got it listed near Melpitas, California and you can see down here, let me make this bigger, when the earthquake ruptured the fault moved going northwest and that's towards the Hayward fault. The uh, 2.4 that occurred yesterday, you can see the first wave of the earthquake came from the north. Yeah, and once again, it actually dipped going down, going towards the west. Tension, they're saying, is being applied towards the east. Here on the felt reports, we got all the way up by Richmond that it was reported in the location where the earthquake occur occurred. And everything else is intensity level two um, but this location which would be the Glenview area um, the Diamond District uh, Redwood Heights what else we got here um, is that Cleveland Heights yeah this all has intensity level three I'm not surprised because yeah you would have um, areas along um, Lake Merritt um, where the ground would probably shake a lot more. As you know any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Intensity level 3 means it was uh, felt noticeably indoors but not always recognized as an earthquake. They might have thought it was a, a passing truck or something like that. Standing automobiles would have rocked slightly you might have noticed some jiggling of your objects in your home. Thank you to those of you that sent in reports to EMSC. We got um, one from Emeryville. Um, very short but very noticeable shake. Nothing fell. Another from Berkeley. Strong short jolt. Here you can see that during that time of the earthquake we were being impacted by the X. 4.3 solar flare I believe it was solar flares coronal mass ejections do have an effect on the earth creating earthquakes they definitely affect people's health uh, messing up their blood pressure and glucose and may, you may have uh, noticed yesterday there was ringing in your ears or headaches back in May of this year the San Francisco Chronicle had an article pretty good article about this it says can northern lights solar storms affect your health studies have found a surprising link I'll give you a link to this article down below so if you want to read about the different health effects that solar flares can have on people um, kind of like the moon sometimes it makes people go loony high stress more road rage so yeah this is what was going on during that uh, when that earthquake happened. The Hayward Fault is the most dangerous fault currently there in the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah, they know it's overdue for a very large earthquake because of the density of the population and the fact that a lot of people that live there who recently moved there don't know about this um, earthquake danger. Yeah, they're probably not prepared. I hope you're prepared. You should be prepared for any type of large disaster, be it an earthquake or adverse weather, tsunamis. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about another shutdown. Yeah, you just don't know. Yeah, you should be prepared to have extra food and water and medical supplies, a bug out kit. So did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? How did your pets react? Uh, prior to the earthquake, was there indication from your pets that something was wrong? Please put that information down below so, so that those of us here in this community 
can read it. We really do enjoy reading your comments. Please like, please share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.